now. What's good, y'all? It has been a minute, but it's POD Canyon back at it. I'm here with a special guest, a uh, guest that I've collaborated with on a couple of songs. We just had a project come out called Blocked Out, and if you're hearing this now, the Deluxe has just come out as well. Um, this is um, Lamar's first tape on all platforms, so I feel like this is a good uh, time to, you know, get a little bit of a background for those who are just now tuning in, whenever that may be. But before we start, how you doing today, Lamar? How you doing? First of all, I'm gonna say what's up to the podcast. What's up, y'all? When I'm today, I'm doing good, feeling good too. I ain't gonna lie, especially since you feel me, the deluxe just came out. Mm-hmm. Two extra songs for everybody here. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. So I feel like I'm gonna start out with uh, pretty much saying, what are your thoughts on that tape so far? Well, we can get into the deluxe, but let's say just the tape, you know, the five songs that dropped so far. Shoot, the five songs in general, bro, I've been been saying it constantly. Whenever I talk to my family, whenever I talk to my people, tell them I feel like that drum was a masterpiece because, I mean, Solid. I've been I've been told you like throughout the when we was making the tape definitely. I told you I definitely didn't plan on dropping any of these joints like these was just this was just yeah. music like like therapy type shit like therapy sessions for me that I was putting myself through so it was like hell yeah to see these joints actually put out and how it all came together like that joint really feel like a masterpiece to me even though it's my first one I feel like. It's, it's a good ass first start word. type shit. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, that that's kind of what I uh think of too. I, I always want like, I feel like music is a form of art, so we should uh structure our tapes or our songs in that way. And I feel like we executed that well. Um, with the video, got a lot of um good feedback on the video. There were actually some people who saw the video and didn't even know the tape dropped. I was like, oh yeah, there, there, there's four more of those songs up there. You go, go check that out for real. But um, yeah, like I feel like um, at first we weren't even planning to make it a tape for real. We were just uh, making songs. I was just like, you know, I, I hop on whatever. So you know, just send me whatever, and I, I'll send you a couple that I got. I sent him Berserker Armor, which is um, the outro track, but that's the first song that we made. I had that, I was sitting on that verse for a while, and um, I don't know, like, I, I, I needed somebody to hop on it, but, like, you know, I wanted it to fit, so um, I sent Lamar the track, he sent it back, and it was really in that moment where I was just like, oh, yeah, this dude, this dude got something that, like, I feel like at least should be known, you know what I'm saying, got got some skill, and when I was with Rajalis, he verified that for me because like I was just playing just a couple of songs that I hopped on and the one that I had him hop on. And he was like, he told us that our sounds went together well. So I was like, yeah, I do see that too. I see, I do see our sounds meshing together and that just proves even more on this tape, how, how it just worked so well. And I didn't even to, to like put some input on that. When Berserker, like, when Dwayne sent me Berserker armor, that joint, like, that's really what sparked, that's what sparked the album. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, to, hear, to hear Berserker armor, and then once I put my verse up there, because that, like, to be honest, it do, it take me a minute to write my, write my lyrics out, write my songs down, get them out and put them out and stuff. Yeah. But... Listening to Berserker Armor, it was just, uh, what is it, uh, in a spur of a moment thing or whatever they call it. Like, oh yeah, like, you felt that I wrote shit, that right? joint in fifteen thirty minutes. Oh and yeah, then to hear it back, it was like, oh nah, this, that joint, yeah, that joint lit something in me. It was like, yeah, I definitely know that. Yeah, it's always a different feeling from where like you're picturing how it's gonna sound when you lay the verse down. And when you actually lay the verse down, because in that moment, you're going from just an idea to you actually have laid the tracks down. So you have created something new out of that instrumental. It's something completely different now. 
X. So, yeah, just like he said, that that was really the start of it. And like, um, I feel like everybody who rapped, even me, like, I I was like thinking of rapping since like middle school, but I was just like not really rapping. I just wanted to do music in general, but I didn't feel like I had that natural music talent. But I feel like anyone who like wants to do that, there's always a certain point where like they're they're like watching and they're like, you know what? Fuck it. I feel like I can add something to this. So pretty much what was your moment with that with music where you were just like, fuck it, I'm gonna just start this music shit. It was just like I ain't gonna lie. I it won't even it won't even listen to music that got me into it. Like I grew like when I first started listening to music, it was I think I was like I think I was like twelve or thirteen. Mm-hmm. And I was listening to yeah. Eminem and J. Cole. Like those are the two main people I can remember. Big Sean. I was listening to who else? Those were those really the three yeah. main people I can remember, for real. Yeah, for me, it was uh, Kendrick, Good Kid, Mad City. I, that that album, I really felt, was a masterpiece. Because, like, in that, of course, it's it's like an album. It got banger songs up there, like Poetic Justice, Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. But the way that the al- album sequenced, it was telling a whole-ass story. And it felt like, and on it, it was like, it structured itself like a movie. And it felt like you were listening to like a a vocal movie listening to that because at at the end of every one it had skits and the skits matched up to where you knew exactly the situation that had played by the end of the story and the um uh solution that he came up with in his head and that was at 12 years old i was like this is the goal album for real for real. I, i definitely still feel like i haven't made an album up to that uh tier yet but you know, that's just another goal to reach, for real, for real. No, word, boy. Like I was saying, it was, it was really, like, like I said, when I was, I was 12, 13 when I started listening to music. Eminem, J. Cole, and Big Sean. Okay. But it was really 17, 18. I'm hearing, I'm hearing my brother Jordan, his best friend, mm-hmm. rest in peace, to, rest in peace to Darius. Yeah. He making music, and it's like, like the 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 shit I'm feeling, like the shit I'm feeling from listening to it. Exactly. Then I've never been to a concert or anything, like ever in my you life in person. To, no but cap. seeing him do, seeing Darius do his thing in person, mm-hmm. it was a like the the vibe was yeah. crazy. It was like seeing everybody faces, like it was smiles, everything, everybody just turning up, and then uh hell yeah. Like I said, at 17, 18, seeing Jordan, like, seeing Jordan in the booth, making his music, dropping a tape. We made a song together called Can't Hang. It was like, damn. He showed me, like, all right, I can, like, if I want to do this, I can actually do this. And if I'm going to do it, then I need to actually do it. Actually go at that shit, bro. And so now I... Now at nineteen twenty, I'm like, shit, shit. This is really, this is really what I want to do. It's a whole. Yeah, I mean, I got, I got other goals. I got other shit I want to do, but like, this is really what I want to do for real. Like, it's I can, I can make a change with this. Like, Definitely. you feel me? Like, it's hard to, it's hard for me to elaborate on it, but. Like, you feel me? No, I definitely like, feel yeah. you. I definitely feel it. I, I, I definitely feel uh, similar with it. I feel like um, like when like music hits you, just like Bob Marley said, you feel no pain. It, it does something to you. So, like, I feel like if you're able to make that influence to, you know, even, like, lift up someone's day a little bit with your music or, you know, give them a little perspective or reassurance, I feel like that's always been my goal with that job. Um, with music in general. Um, going off of inspirations, I know your early inspirations, uh, J. Cole and Eminem, did you have any inspir- inspirations um, or would you say mainly um, 
your friend was your inspiration to have you start rapping? I don't lie. It won't even, like, like I said, it's really, it was really my brother Jordan and me and AI for, like, Allen Iverson. Mm. Oh, yeah. Like, niggas, like <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It was hard. Niggas really set shit in motion. That's what it is, like, setting, doing your own thing, setting your own way. You feel me? Hell yeah, bro. Nah, that's solid for real. That's solid. Um, Got a couple more questions. Um, I know, like, I think we were working on the tape for, like, you know, just, like, every now and then drop a song, and then, like, we formulated. I think it was, like, a good six months or a year or something like that. Um, A lot of people... I, I'm, I feel like this is just for me. Like, I always be talking about dropping something with somebody, but they don't ever really follow through with it. They don't really put the work in that make me think. Because, you know, like I said, I'm not just going to carry the tape. I, if I'm going to, like, make a collaborative tape with someone, I want them to also put the work in. Mm-hmm. And that's just another reason that this tape was even possible is that you actually, you know, did the work. And you sent me songs when I wasn't really motivated to make music, but it was like, shit i have i have something to work on right now so like that's just extra motivation as well so like what what moment were you like what was like the moment like in the process that we were working on it where you were actually like thinking okay i might actually like drop something on all platforms for the first time was it like right before it was about to drop or was it sometime in the process where you were like oh yeah this is definitely gonna happen shit i ain't gonna lie it was the It was the I'm gonna really have to say it was both times we got in the studio. Cause I don't like I be doing I make all my music on, you feel me, band lab on my iPhone. Mm-hmm. Like I just be whenever I feel whenever I feel like, all right, yeah, I'm feeling this. I'm about to lock in. I just right. make a song real quick. But when I'm actually in the stew, it's a whole nother vibe. You be like, all right. Hell damn. yeah. You really, you really in that shit. So that's when I knew it was like, yeah, these drums definitely got to get put out. And once I heard how they sounded after they was done, I was yeah. like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. We ain't got no choice but to do something with this. Exactly, bro. It's like, it, Can't it would be song. wrong if we just let that shit sit down. Cause like headphone quality and studio quality is definitely different. But like, I always see what it can be when I when I hear it like in headphone quality. So just like I felt like having it come together in that studio moment. Definitely first I was like, Oh yeah, these songs are definitely gonna sound hard, like not only for me but for other people. Mm-hmm. But I was Word. like, Yeah, this is something like niggas can keep going. Where cause like I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was just like even though we was making these songs, I was just having fun with this shit. Like, you know, when we definitely. was doing the video, I was definitely just having fun with that shit. My drum was a vibe for so real. So it was like, to to see that, to see that, like, all right, we actually playing something together right now. So let me, because I ain't gonna lie, I did, like, like you said, you wasn't, you started not to feel motivated, but I was sending you songs. Mm-hmm. Like, after after the songs was done, bro, I won. I was like, yeah, what is this we about to do with this now? Then we made the video, Word. and the songs actually got put out. So it's like, all right, I actually had to lock in, you feel me? So that's when I felt like, yeah, we actually about to do something with this, you know? Hell yeah, nah. So now that the um, yeah, I'll I'll say you can you can name a deluxe song, but um. Honestly, which one, if you have to pick one, which one do you think would be your favorite? Or which one do you think would be other people's favorites? You can pick one of each out of the tape. I, I might, I have to say, I think everybody's going to fuck with nobody. Because we both, like, Dwayne and Lamar is definitely going crazy on that jump. <laughs> but... In my opinion, I'd have to go with Boom, cause like you feel me? Oh yeah. Niggas really had niggas really gotta like at some point 
Like that hook was solid too. That mind, word. Yeah, bro. That hook was solid. I just I just went off of that. I feel like that's how it went for a good amount of the hooks. Cause like with a couple of people I've talked to, they've said their favorite song was "Leaving Me." Other people said their favorite song was uh, "Berserker Armor." I was I was definitely surprised with that one. Way more people definitely mess with Berserker Armor than I thought. But like, I, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Cause My like word. that joke's hard. Like. Especially like I don't know. It's like with the um with the like personal songs. I, I never think that people are gonna mess with it the way that they do. Bro, and I said, bro, I said I was just talking to one of my people the other day, bro. She was like what did she say? She was like she definitely she was like she definitely liked the whole tape. But she was like, You know what my favorite song is? I was like, nah, what? She was like honest. I was like, yo, Never would have expected crazy that. <laughs> Word, Never bro. Expected that's the that. last song I'd be expecting people to fuck with because, like, that's some, like, Honest, that's one of the yeah. last songs. Well, you know, bro, that was one of the last songs. I, I didn't even want to record that joint at first. So yeah, like, at first yeah. we barely even recorded that. It, it was just, like, a lot. I was just like, you trying to record this? I mean, like, either way, we got <laughs> we got a <laughs> song. Yeah. And then that joint just came out clean, and, like, every, every person I played for, Especially your part, they was like, "Oh yeah, this is real." They'd be like, "Oh, who this? Who the?" They'd be like, oh, "This is Lamar." I'd be like, "Lamar raps, yo." And that should be that's a joke. Yeah, like, that joint be having me feel like the like the feedback, bro. Like, yeah, bro. It be having me feeling good. I'm like, damn, this Definitely. how y'all feel. Like, I just be, I just be talking how I feel. So it be, it be feeling weird for like people to actually say like. Damn, this shit crazy. Like people actually exactly. be turn. I be like, damn, y'all fucking with it that hard. Exactly, bro. But to go back to another question I asked, you had asked, uh, what uh, what was my favorite song off the deluxe? All these songs, for real, for real. I be fucking with them cause, like you, the way you like, you know how to elaborate on the shit I say. That's what make these jumps like. Mm-hmm. Like, Hell yeah. go, like, one and one. That shit, I be fucking with that junk so heavy, bro. It be like, I don't got to say too much. Nah, that, that then, junk is hard, though. Word. Because, like, every time, like, you'll do a hook, I'll feel I'll feel that junk. I'll be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I could definitely hop on this junk. And then, like, off of the hook, I'll just go off of it. And then sometimes, well, I feel like most of the time, like, I'll, I'll usually get it right or, like, expand on it. Uh, even more because like with the nobody's supposed to be here he had that hook and I pretty much I didn't copy the hook exactly but like I um made it so like it wasn't different like you knew I was doing the same hook but like I just had my own spin on it that jump was hard I'm not gonna lie that- I ain't gonna lie, that shit was so crazy bro that's t- <laughs> I see why I'm everybody be mind. fucking with that joint that shit is so tight Facts, bro. I, I definitely think people gonna mess with nobody. And, oh, for a fact. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know, like, um, my, my plan is to um, drop at least, at the very least, one more, but, like, I'm supposed to be dropping two more tapes. But, um, that, that boy, uh, KL3 is coming up, bro. If we have to Postponed it, dude. You gotta do, bro. Cause you know what I'm saying. <laughs> that'll just make real. that'll just make our tape even crazier. Depending on how much this dude goes up, bro. Um, man, uh, Ko3, um, linked up with Jada Kiss about a week and a half ago, and I mean, we don't even know, like, you know, what else this dude could be coming up with. Um, I know that Jada Kiss is actually supposed to be coming to. Virginia in like a month or so to be performing. Um, I forgot where. I don't want to say the Coliseum because I don't think it's at the Coliseum. Last time someone performed at the Coliseum, it was like yeah, Pop Smoke, yeah, Gunna, and the Baby. That junk is crazy. But um, nah, like that man Jada Kiss is gonna be in the area. So like, hey, I mean, 
if they want KO three to open, that would, that would be perfect. That would be, that would be crazy, crazy bro. <laughs> that would be tough. I'm not going cap, bro. That would be too crazy. That would Jeez. that would be that would be a a marking point, bro. I I already believe, like I really believe that Virginia, like especially this area, two years if that, maybe like a year, niggas are gonna be on the map, bro. Um. Uh, shout out J Bonds. J Bonds tape coming out um a month. His tape is gonna be crazy. I won't say too much, but just know this man grabbed, achieved, t- not two, not one, but three verified features on that junk. And like, like he played it for me, bro. And I was just in awe. I was, I was absolutely blown away, bro. I was like. Yo, bro, like, when you drop this, bro, niggas are gonna put some fucking respect on your name, bro. That, like, at the very least. I was like, at the very least, niggas have to put some respect on your name, bro. Because not only is this nigga making, like, a sound that um you don't be hearing from people from our area, but, like, he... I ain't gonna lie, bro, it's yeah, different. Exactly, bro, so, like, you already automatically going to stand out. And the fact that you have these cosigns from these people who have already made it in a sense, you know, backing down and even putting it on your tape, you know, saying you hard, that that's, that's beyond the motivation, bro. I, I've been told this dude, because he was thinking about stopping a couple of times. I told him, don't, don't do it, bro. Don't like, <laughs> It's it's always like you you gonna feel like you want to quit when you like really want to go at this stuff, but it's like you gotta feel that at least a couple of times because that's just what makes going up, being being up after being down so long. That's what makes it feel that much better because you know how it felt when you were down. So I was like, you just gotta keep going through that, and that's it's gonna pay off here. And man, I. When when that tape drops, bro, that's just gonna be crazy, bro. So, I, I'm not even gonna say too much about the KL3 J Bonds. We probably got some other other people making moves in the cut too, bro. Because Virginia is just too talented, bro. Like I, I really believe in these niggas. Like that that's what you that's what we gotta do though. Like we gotta gotta like actually believe in these niggas, not have uh fake love. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but fact. Yeah, bro, but, like, I definitely, I think we definitely made something. We, we gonna keep making quality music, too, because um, this was honestly, like, on some real shit, this was, like, my most successful tape since the first tape I've dropped. Because, like, especially at least on Apple Music, because um, my first tape was Life Changes You, um, that had money, um rain on it uh depression cold mm-hmm. motherfucking um i can that's that was just uh cj but um yeah that had a bunch of songs on it that like were staying in my top five for a while and like even when i would drop a tape um like all in your head that was like one of my most personal tapes because I was ghost, didn't say a thing, you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, I just had put that out because like, that was real. Like, I thought like during Life Changes You was my lowest moment, but like, honestly, um, because I made Life Changes You, I made past that. That was me like coming back up thinking I'm past that. And then all in your head, I was, uh, I had pretty much everything that I had worked to gain, I had lost it all instantly. And I had to, I literally had to go back and gain all that shit again when I worked over a year to gain that shit. Lost in a snap. And like, I was just, you know, talking my shit, talking pretty much, I won't say I was saying everything, but I was just saying everything that needed to be said. And, um, you know, when I dropped, you know, it, it didn't really get, all that uh, recognition, all that uh, love, you know what I'm saying? Some people even, like, contacted me saying, like, 
this one this one wasn't really it and you know i always uh take it in like in that time space i i didn't say that but like of course i always appreciate um feedback you know what i'm saying good or bad because it shows me the direction i need to go in but like with them i i definitely left them niggas on red whenever they said <laughs> whenever they said something um thing because I, I just didn't have like the capacity to just be like more mature about it as i wanted to be so like i was just like i'm gonna just leave this alone because especially like when you got a lot going on at one time you'd be like i literally don't have the energy to deal with that right Boy, now <laughs> no cap bro oh, so got too many streams. i'm saying bro so literally i i still did you know what i usually do with a tape i dropped a video all that uh certain people were telling me it was a miss but then like i think it was like after that i'm working on the next tape i dropped that tape the um back where i started um that one goes up for a little bit and then so that this has been like a year and some change since i dropped the all in your head tape that song starts going up like niggas start listening to it and like random people start giving me feedback saying like, yo, this one was a sleeper. I'm not going to lie. Uh, nah, this one was real. I felt this track to my soul. So it's like, even in that, that's the moment I realized that even like, if you're not getting the recognition you deserve in that moment, if you feel like you got to put out the song, still put it out because I feel like it might be needed for somebody, even if, even if it's not getting the most views, those each view is a person who's going through something and they might feel that track. Thanks. I always think of um, with songs that don't blow up right away, I always think of Mo Bamba because he Sheck West literally dropped that song and video and that shit didn't blow up until like a year later. So, like, he was thinking, okay, still making music. And then out of nowhere, the song he dropped a year ago is blowing up. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put some attention to that shit. So, like, yeah. Just like that nigga James told me, the nigga Wavy who shot our video for Gelato. He was like, bro, all it takes is one song, bro. One song. And if you play your cards right, you can be set for life. So... Even if you don't think, like, I have to drop, don't be focusing on that song, though. Just keep dropping music, and it's going to get the attention it deserves eventually. But I think to close this junk out, um, we can do one of two things. I low-key, I don't know if Spotify will rock with me, because, like, so, like, when I did this one, um, this is these two rappers who dropped around the same time as us a collab tape and i was kind of seeing what they were doing it was jpeg mafia and bobby brown they made a tape called uh scaring the hoes that shit <laughs> that's just funny bro now nah, they really yeah, be on dude. some different shit though yeah I, i'm gonna definitely play that shit after this but like they because bobby brown has his own podcast not bobby brown fuck danny brown has his own podcast so he brought jpeg mafia on and you know they chopped up about how they were making their tape and how it c came about and at the end because when they dropped their podcast they actually dropped the podcast before they dropped the tape so then at the last like when they close out the podcast they just played the first song so i might close it out with the uh a song of lamar's choice i have one more question for him and then we're gonna wrap this up um it's pretty much with the um last sample i always like to have a sample at the end of my tapes, because like with my life changes you want, I had BMO talking um, in the last one for like, I think that and past that actually. And then <laughs> for um, life changes you, I had a Bojack Horseman quote at the end. And then I think for back where I started, I had a Lion King quote. So for this, for this one, I had a Vinland Saga quote at the end of the tape. 
Um, and it was actually what uh, we were talking about because I, I love Villain Saga. And like that series is crazy. Y'all yes, gotta tap bro. in if you have not. You oh, have uh, to. Like, if you don't even watch, like, I feel like that's one of those shows where, like, even if you don't watch anime, you'll fuck with that shit, bro. Or exact. And like, it was just the timing of within that chapter where it was just everything that I needed to hear in that moment because I had lost everything. So I felt completely reset and I had to just gain everything back. I was motherfucking, man, I literally, I was like, damn, I have to go back at this shit again. And like, just like Thorfinn was looking, nigga, I was tired, <laughs> bro. I was like, bro, I didn't, I don't have the energy, bro. I use all my energy thinking, all right, once I get off of the end of this hill, I'm going a, I'm to a be able to rest. And now I'm right back at reset with no checkpoint. Just like, bro, that shit was crazy. But like, just like the old man said. Bruh, when you're empty, when you, you know, when you at your lowest moment, that's the best foundation to start building shit up because you, you know what I'm saying? There, there's nothing in the way of that. You have a clean slate. So even if it does seem like a long journey, you're the right, you're, you're righteously prepared. And you know what I'm saying, bro, that, that's just going to work out in that as long as you stick to it. So what, what do you think? thing you think that was a good um outro for the tape or if you if you do and like any other outros came to mind what do you think that would be if that wasn't the perfect one i ain't gonna lie that john is that john definitely is perfect because like i'm hard at i ain't gonna lie i'm hard at remembering things but just that scene and when old master was talking to thorfinn i know it's like but that's a fact, bro. He asked him at the end, can I be reborn? It's like after everything, after everything that's done happened, everything mm-hmm. a nigga done been through, damn, it's like Is it still shit. possible? You know what Word. I'm saying? Can you still become like the nigga that you like can you still become the nigga that you trying to be? Like that you and, wanted to be. And the crazy thing about that is he doesn't even answer the question. He says he lets you decide that for yourself. He's like, Word, don't be worrying yeah. about that. We got work to do. Facts. Knowing that is still going on. It's but like, yeah. it's like, time don't stop. You got to figure that shit out in the midst of everything that's going on. It's like exactly. problems and everything. That's like how we, how we first started, how we uh first wanted to cover our to be. Mm-hmm. Like we wanted, not not necessarily or specifically anything, but just negative things coming at us and around us and everything. But, mm-hmm. well, I mean, the way it was, that shit turned out fire. I ain't gonna hold you. That junk is fire, bro. That's how that junk was supposed to turn out, because it's like, yeah, bro. While that shit is going on, like I said, you got to push through everything, that, you feel me? Because mm-hmm. while you pushing through everything that you got going on, all that shit... And everything that you done enjoyed in the midst of that experience is like, that's going, like, that's you. And what come out is you. Yep. And another way I started to interpret the thing is like, you can see that not necessarily bad things coming at us, but like just how it's a dark background, you can see that as darkness coming around us. And us being charged up with like a green light, we're literally blocking off the darkness because the light is literally attached to us. Nah. That's John Carr. That's hard. Thanks, yeah, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. But yeah, man, this has been Lamar. He's got tons of music coming out. If you're listening to this, this is where niggas first started, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know how far we've come from there, but I'm just know that we, we gonna keep going at this. Uh, any outro you'd like to say for the people before we go? Uh, a few things to say. Shit. And they ain't never been open, but you know, it's always, it's always a start. But another thing I want to say to y'all is, you feel me, to anybody, to anybody trying something or doing something, keep pushing, keep going at it. Whatever you're doing, it's steps. It's steps to everything. 
Just walk up them steps. Each step. It don't even matter how long it takes. I promise you. That is a promise. You're going to get there as long as you keep taking them steps. That's for a fact. No, nah, that was that. Yeah. That was excellent. That was a that was a good way to end it out, bro. But with that being said, y'all know where to get Lamar. He's at he's on all platforms. Go check out Blocked Out, Blocked Out Deluxe if you're listening to this right when it dropped. And with that being said, y'all be great, y'all be safe. I'll catch y'all on the next podcast, man. Deuces. Peace. I have asked myself, and I've asked myself, and I've asked myself again. What you ask? What would I do if you said, darling, I romance my sin? Not a day has gone to pass, but that question I no longer ask, because I think I have found it, found an answer. Yeah. It's I've got to go home. Seeing what they saying, execution always weakened. If they say that I don't got it, then they lying through their teeth.